India who had stayed in Belfast for many years, who moved back to England, but he also passed away a few months ago. Chieftain, past chieftains, ladies and gentlemen, can I ask you to raise your glasses, please, for a toast to the President of India. The President of India. May the best you have ever seen be the worst you will ever see. May the moose never leave your turn with a teardrop in his heart. May he keep hale and hearty till you're old enough to die. May he be just as happy as I wish you to be. Please remember, we are in cotton leaf, so there can't be any eggs and tomatoes flying around. You lassies, my dear, lend me your ears, as I render this ode with some fright and some fears. This ode is meant especially for you lovely lassies, and it is from all those awesome and handsome punks. <laughs> then there is this ode that says them all, that Adam was the lion luckiest of them all. For he never ever had a mother-in-law at all. And therefore they say he lived in paradise and all. <laughs> and in those wonderful, youthful days of yore, there's one thing we laddies knew for sure. A good, good lassie was sugar and honey, but a bad, bad lassie was pot on the pin. And as she rations her favors and wishes of a treat, our hearts will raise and may not skip a beat. And that will be that inevitable tingling in the loins, and which invariably ends up with the royal battle of the groins. And so, all you laddies, Please rise as one and join me in raising the toast to God's most beautiful, most exquisite, and most wonderful creation of all time, the Lassies. The Lassies. Um, okay, this is not quite so long. This is the reply from the Lassies. At a body collection, are we? Our heads we have all put together and written this tribute to thee. So on this momentous occasion, while possessed of inspiration and time, we immortalize the Chennai Highlanders in a celebration of wit and bad rhyme. To the men who go regimental and wear nothing under their kilt, we can, we can only grow more sentimental when you sit with your knees all a-tilt. For it's true what they say, and a word to the wise, that no matter your wares, it pays to advertise. <laughs> 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 
absolutely delighted to be here today. Um, Mike McAllery Angus, who's the British Deputy High Commissioner here at the City House, uh, he sent his apologies for not being here. I'm delighted that he's not here because he gives me a chance to be. And uh, I'm delighted to be honoured to be sitting on the, the top table. Um, just to say, despite appearances, I'm an Englishman, uh, although my wife, Vicky, I'm afraid, who is uh, from Glasgow, would have loved to have been here today. She's a great dancer, she's unable to come, I'm afraid. Um, it's wonderful to know that, that uh, you have this group this time. It was, it was recent news to me, uh, so I'll be delighted to see more of you. Um, and um, we hope that uh, you know we can continue to support what you're doing. And it's, it's because of people like uh, Norman McLeod and others uh, subsequently and before him uh, that this sort of thing can keep going. It's nice. It's wonderful, and uh, I hope we keep going for many more, more years to come. So thank you very much. Um, actually, I, I do have a Scottish on my side. It's a bank of on my dad's side. And um, there are a few constants in life, but I think one of them is that where you know that there's always fun and camaraderie in St. Andrew's Way. And so it's really my pleasure to be invited here to participate with you tonight. So uh, happy St. Andrew's Day. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm privileged to thank everyone who contributed in one way or another towards this evening. Thank you everyone for being here this evening and for supporting this event. Thank you.